Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lisa. And today I made some chicken pad thai. First time I've ever made it homemade. I'll go ahead and show you how I did that now. I hope the lighting is okay with this. I'm not sure because I do have the sun behind me. Um, I closed my blinds, but hopefully this works. Let's make some pad thai. <laughs> this will be my first time making pad thai, so I'm a little bit nervous. But I already put out all the ingredients and stuff that I'm going to need. I just need to prep all the veggies and stuff. So these need to be cut, the carrots. I already peeled them and cut off the little, the ends. And I am not a professional by any means for any of this, okay? So don't judge me for the way that I cook or anything. a great kitchen setup for filming I think um, I may need to push the camera back a little bit more and then zoom in that way you don't have so wide of an angle but for right now I think it works See why? hopefully nothing looks dirty to you guys I don't know that if I like the way I cut those carrots, but whatever. I'm wearing like pajama bottom shorts. I hope I don't look too casual for you guys, but I'm in my own house, so. Okay, read. <laughs> carrots, how many carrots? One and a half cups. I knew it was more than a half cup. Okay. carrots but you know that's not really gonna happen today I feel like those are really hard to make and my husband convinced me to get regular carrots instead of the ones that are already made into matchstick shapes so this is what he gets because <laughs> I am it's too hard to make tiny tiny matchsticks And it's all gonna taste the same regardless of the way it is, right? The only thing that changes is a little bit of the texture. And even then, it's still the same type. It's the same food, it's just cut differently, so it really won't matter that much. I might need to peel another carrot. How long is this taking me? There's gonna be so much fun with me cooking. I feel like it looks like an evil crooked finger or something. peanuts I need to chop and those will be like a garnish with the cilantro so I don't care if it goes on here with all of the other veggie stuff. I hope this doesn't look like it's a mess. It's just all the ingredients that I need still. 
in a mixing bowl whisk together brown sugar soy sauce rice vinegar so it's dark brown sugar rice vinegar soy sauce and fish sauce and lime juice So that's saucy. Let's prepare my chicken. I like my chicken pieces to be really um, thinly sliced, like almost like a shredded type of chicken. Um, just cutting off all the fat. Um, almost like a shredded chicken in my pad thai. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. The water is almost boiling. So it's a pound of chicken that you need. It was just, this is a little over a pound maybe that I have, but I mean, I'm not gonna like cut off a piece of the chicken breast just to make it. Two oils, two oil, two tablespoons of vegetable oil and a pan for the chicken. One, two, not that that really matters to measure that out. this in the big pot because I don't have much room in this to stir it around. I need a walk. try it just to see if it was good because I was worried. What? That was bad. Yeah. You cooked it that fast? <laughs> well, I mean, I just cut the video. Oh. Okay. <laughs> mm. Mm, mm, mm. It was really good. I actually just want to hold it in my hand. So steamy. The only thing I would change is it had me add cilantro and I wish I wouldn't have. Because I don't think it goes well with it. Mm. 
Yeah, cilantro is not. It's just too strong. I think the noodles are too lit, so like skinny. Yeah, but these were the only rice noodles that they sold at the store. Normally, the rice noodles for pad thai are like thicker, but these were the only ones that they sold at the store. So. Not bad for your first time. Yeah, I don't think so. I would slice everything thinner, that's for sure. Yeah, the chicken. You have a habit of doing that. I thought it was thin enough. You sure the chicken were like chicken strips? <laughs> yeah, that's hard. Mm. Mm. This is definitely a good dinner. So there's carrots, green onion, bean sprout, cilantro, red bell pepper, peanuts, chicken, noodles, mm. and the sauce is brown sugar soy sauce. Bunch of other stuff. I got some more kombucha. This one is peach bellini, which I haven't tried this flavor yet. Mm. Ooh, definitely taste the peach. It's really good. I like it. Mm. I do really like it. And the peanuts all mixed up in there. There's egg. Make this with shrimp too. Be really good. on my ball. You didn't burp. Hmm? You're not burping? Is there my tits a few minutes? How are you gonna make this money? Get gassy girl. That's your, <laughs> that's your new that's your new slogan. Get gassy girl. One of my subscribers asked me if you smell my burps. start watering from holding it in. <laughs> 
You're so cute. Mm. That Thai is delicious. I definitely think there's more veggies in this recipe than the pad thais you get at like a restaurant, but I'm okay with that. I feel like I ate really fast and I ate a lot. Our cat's in the other room over there. And she just looked at me and her eyes are glowing. <clears throat> this was a much anticipated dinner for Kevin and I. Talking about it for like last week. Uh, I'm glad I got to talk to you. Talk to yourself. See there. If I do the burps more clustered together, I feel like people are less likely to be bothered by them because they could just skip them. <laughs> uh, I like cut it all out. Mm. I do love the texture of rice noodles though. It's just like a softer chew to them. Mm. I like hunch over my bowl. I need to get something to like hold like this. You know, have you see people do that? Be better, way better. Mm. We'll definitely be making this again eventually. As for now, we have plenty of leftovers. A lot of bad time. Mm. <gasps> oh, I think this video was gonna be so short because I ate that food so fast, but there's a whole part of me cooking.